America is the face of the entire world. This is why America is being attacked. The people in the White House, the people in Congress need to open their ears, their eyes, their hearts. Satan is attacking you, America, because when Satan overcomes you, the whole world is going to weep and mourn. The whole world. Why is America still standing now? There are still some good Christians in America that truly love the Lord Jesus, both in government and on an individual level. There are faithfuls. In the Christian and in the secular world, there are good Christians. This is why the Lord is still holding on to America, but America will go. It's the word of the Lord. We need to pray for it not to go as yet. Because it's not going to be fun at all. When America goes, one thing is going to come out. One thing good is going to come out of this. No more clubs. <laughs> No more having fun, dancing, going and enjoying your life and just looking after your body. No, no more of that. No more of that, my beloved. No more of that. But look at this. The merchants, those countries of these things who became rich by her, who traded with America, will stand at a distance for fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. Why would you stand at a distance seeing somebody falling? The only time you will stand at a distance and looking at someone falling is when you do not love that someone. But if you love someone and you see them falling, you'll run to, to them like crazy, wouldn't you? But when would you stand at a distance when you have no love for that someone who just fell? So you look at a distance and look at them and say, your fall hurt me, but thank God that you have fallen because I hated you from the start. You see, there is no country that loves America. The day America falls, every country will go against America. But you know what? Because they had so much investments in America, they lost their investments. So they stood at a distance because we hate you. But we had no choice but to trade with you because you were the only one who were going to be the reason for our success and being rich. You with me? So no country loves America. And the moment America goes, everybody will weep and wail, not for America, for their losses but they will say thank god america's gone because we never liked you but you are you were the superpower we couldn't go against you we had no choice but to trade with you but thank god you're gone but so bad that our investments are also gone but we're happy that you're gone that's why we kept the distance we said hallelujah <laughs> You know, let me come to our level as individuals. I beg you, open your ears, your hearts, your minds. My child, if you think there is another human being that loves you more than anyone and everyone, you're mistaken. My daughter, when you find this guy and you fall in love with this guy, my son, when you find this girl and you fall in love with this girl, let me tell you this out of love and out of concern as a spiritual father for your well-being. Let me tell you this, that love, if it is not built on Christ, it will not last. Because any love and every love that is outside the circle of Christ is a fake, false love. 
You want to learn and find out the hard way? Or do you want to learn and find out the easy way? If you want the easy way, come to the Lord and adhere to every word that is being uttered out of His holy and divine mouth. You want to learn the hard way? It's your choice. Go for it, my child. But let me tell you as a spiritual father, you will find it the hard way. And there is no guarantee you will recover from that hard way. There is no guarantee. Because love hurts a lot when it gets broken. In fact, love kills the ultimate. That's why Jesus died on the cross. It killed him because he loved us. So, if you are seeking love in a relationship where Christ is absent, Satan is there. There is no love. <laughs> Believe me. This is why the United Nations, you can, you can, you can understand from the title, United Nations. Did you know there is not one nation that is united to the other. Everyone hates the other. Every country hates the other country and they assemble in the UN and talk about democracy and human rights. Behind the scenes, they poisoning each other, killing each other and going at each other. Why? Because this kind of a gathering is being done against God. There is no God in there. There is no God. That's why there is no love. And where there is no love, the moment one falls, everybody will sharpen their knives and swords to go and finish him off. <laughs> but when there is true love, my daughter and my son, when you fall, who's going to run like crazy toward you and embrace you? Mom and dad. Anybody home? Not your cousin, not your friends, not your partner, mom and dad, whom you denied, whom you broke their word to please your friend. Mom and dad represent God on earth. It's not the Pope. It's mom and dad. Okay? It's not the patriarch. It's mom and dad. No one takes the place of God except parents on earth. John Chrysostom, this mighty saint of the fourth century in Constantinople, Istanbul currently, he says, if you want to see the kingdom of God on earth, see a family that worships the Lord. When the husband and the wife, when the father and the mother sit together with the children at the table and thanking God for everything he's done for them and given them, this is the kingdom of God on earth. Parents, family, my beloveds, family. So build your relationship on Christ. Build your relationship on Christ. For the love to be genuine, it needs and requires Christ to be in that relationship. Otherwise, you will find out the hard way. And the answer will be, your heart will be broken 100%. In whichever relationship it is, business, social, intimate, whatever, whatever level, if Christ is not there, there is no genuine love. So these merchants stood at a distance. Why? Because they hate America. They can't stand America. But they have no choice at the moment. 